Consecration to St. Joseph. Day 6 Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. He, St. Joseph, is head of the Holy Family, Father of the Trinity on earth, which resembles so closely the Holy Trinity on high. St. Peter Julian Amar The Holy Trinity is a family, a holy family. They want you to be a member of their family. To make this happen, they've established a Trinitarian replica on earth, an earthly trinity. The trinity on earth consists of Jesus, Mary and St. Joseph. In a sense, they are the first church. Membership in this family will prepare you for membership in God's eternal family in heaven. St. Joseph is the father of the trinity on earth. Many saints have compared the earthly trinity, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, to the heavenly trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The comparisons has its limitations, of course. Mary and St. Joseph are not divine and the Holy Spirit is not a mother. Nonetheless, the comparison is important because it teaches us something about God's Trinitarian family. St. Francis de Sales offers us a great insight on this subject. He writes, There is no doubt at all that St. Joseph was endowed with all the gifts and graces required by the charge which the Eternal Father willed to commit to him. Overall, the domestic and temporal concerns of our Lord and the guidance of his family, which was composed of three persons only, represented to us the mystery of the most holy and adorable Trinity. Not that there is any real comparison in this matter, excepting that as regards our Lord, who is the one of the persons of the most blessed Trinity. For the others were but creatures, yet still we may say, that it was a trinity on earth, representing in some sorts the most holy trinity. St. Francis de Sales teaches us a very important truth in this statement. He beautifully articulates that the trinity of Nazareth, Jesus, Mary and St. Joseph, represents the heavenly trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, and therefore consists only of three persons. In other words, Jesus did not have any, uh, any biological brothers and sisters, this is what the Catholic Church has always taught. But the Church has always taught that the Trinity in Heaven and the Trinity on Earth want you to be a member of their family through adoption. Let's be clear though, we're never going to become a divine person. You and I are not God, and we never will be. God does, however, want to bring us into the fam familial life of his Trion Godhead through spiritual adoption. This happens when we are baptised. As members of the mystical body of Christ, the Church, we are made members of God's family on earth, the Holy Family. Membership in the Holy Family on earth prepares us to enter the Holy Family in heaven. If you want to be a member of the Trinitarian family in heaven, you need to be a child of St. Joseph on earth. St. Joseph, your spiritual father, will help you become a true child of the Heavenly Father. St. Joseph will teach you how to love, pray, sacrifice and work. He will teach you how to do the will of God. The pathway to heaven is paved with virtues, and St. Joseph will give you a father's example of holiness. With his holy assistance, your transition to the Trinity on heaven will be an easy one. Membership in the family of Nazareth, accepting St. Joseph as your father, Mary as your mother, and Jesus as your brother, is the surest, easiest, and quickest way of becoming a member of the Trinitarian family in heaven. What an honour it was for St. Joseph to enter into an alliance with the family of the Heavenly Father to become the third person of the created Trinity. Blessed William Joseph Chaminade. Litany of St. Joseph Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, 
Pray for us. Noble offspring of David. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most courageous. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Glory of domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Esperas, O Lord. Lamb of, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household. And brings over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph, to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant us the favour of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.